Well, I got some more fragrances in recently and I figured we could do another de giveaway on two decants and try out some inspired versions of some very popular designer fragrances. I got two more from Dossier Perfumes. Stay tuned. So this time it's on two very, very popular ones. This is actually their rendition of Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette and Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Two heavy hitters, two of the big boys. So let's jump off into the first one. As you can see, the Dossier Perfumes box. This is Fresh Woody number one, which I believe they recently just changed the names on all of them. And as with Dossier Perfumes, these are vegan friendly, cruelty free. They only use clean ingredients made right there in France so it's actually high quality oils and with their risk-free return policy the reason they come with these decants with the bottle is you can actually just bust the decant open try the fragrance if you're not happy with it return the package with the bottle no questions asked and you get a full refund so it is pretty cool that they do that but these decants are going to be given away to one lucky winner stay tuned to the end and we'll discuss that so as with all of them, they do come with a card that shows the oil concentration, which just is their rendition of Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette. Actually, the Eau de Parfum, I'm sorry, it's 15% oil concentration, note breakdown, as well as their risk-free return policy, and then just a faded version of the bottle. These are basic cylinder style bottles. They are pretty heavy, thick base glass. They have the name of the fragrance as well as the note breakdown. But my favorite part about these bottles, they are magnetic caps. And if you have nervous energy like I do, when I'm working emails on my computer at work or something like that, when I wore my Dossier Perfumes fragrance the other day, just sitting there playing with the cap. <laughs> Bad habit of that. So for those of you with me that have nervous energy, these are fun bottles to play with if you keep your bottle with you when you go to work and stuff like that. So. The downside to it, though, I haven't sprayed this yet, but like I said, I have experience with their bottles. Very wide mists. I'm not a fan of the mist on it. Yeah, that smells like Blue de Chanel EDP. Do another little third of a spritz on top of that. Give that a second. Yeah, definitely smells like Blue de Chanel up in here. A lot of lemony citrus up top, a little bit of grapefruit. It's got that zestiness that Blue de Chanel is known for. Fresh woods in the background. I'm going to say I smell a little bit of incense. It's got an incense-y kind of smell. So there's no actual, no grapefruit in here. I guess the lemon mixed with the mandarin orange is kind of giving me that grapefruit smell. But definitely a lot of lemon up top. Sandalwood is very prominent. Like I said, they have their note breakdown right here. It's not a one-to-one -one note breakdown with Blue de Chanel, but uh, smells very close, and that's for sure. And I can tell you, based off of my experience with their version of Polo Blue Eau de Parfum, they're powerful. And when I say powerful, I don't mean fill a room powerful. I mean last eight-plus hours powerful. So I was quite impressed with that when I wore Polo Blue EDP. I want to say it was like a week and a half, two weeks ago, something. I think it was like two weeks ago. Uh, I'll have to look when I did that video because the following day, I actually wore that as my scent of the day and I was very, very impressed with it. As I am right now with Blue de Chanel, very accurate depiction. Blue de Chanel EDP, not one of my most favorite scents. I actually prefer the Parfum, which I wore the day before yesterday, actually. Uh, but definitely for you Blue de Chanel lovers, might be a better alternative for you because as you know it's not that easy to get Blue de Chanel discounted and this is a good version of Blue de Chanel EDP. This is Fresh Woody number one. Next we're going to be taking a look at Fresh Woody number two. Dior Sauvage for the toilette. Same packaging, same thing, comes with the card with the note breakdown and this is an eau de toilette 12%. So this should smell pretty accurate and this will go this is the other decant for the giveaway. Here we have it. There's your note breakdown, Fresh Woody number two. Pretty accurate note breakdown for Dior Sauvage. Okay. 
love magnetic caps. I just, I just do. So, oh wow, that pops. That's potent. That is potent. I tell you what, uh, those of you that've been watching me for a while, I did a full review on alt fragrances for Rouge, which was my favorite clone of Dior Sauvage. This is much richer. I can tell you right now, just based off of this initial spray out in the air, this smells much more accurate to Dior Sauvage than Alt's version. It's cheaper too. Oh yeah, the bergamot's really jumping out at me. And there's a sweetness, maybe some vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, this is a much more accurate depiction. That smells good. Yeah, this is definitely better than the Blue de Chanel to me. Because I, like I said, the only Blue de Chanel I'm really a fan of is the Parfum because it's so rich. Don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against the EDT or the EDP. They're just not really sense for me. But as far as the Sauvages, I like all three Sauvages. And this is a very, very accurate depiction of the Eau de Toilette. And it seems like it's going to project like the Eau de Toilette too. It's all around me right now, the Ambroxan for sure. So, of the two, this is the one I would say check out. This is very accurate to Dior Sauvage and a whole lot cheaper. Not too shabby. Probably going to give this one a wear here in the next day or two. So be on the lookout for a scent of the day picture for this one because uh, probably wear this one to work before the weekend. Well, that was the two that I recently got from Dossier Perfumes. And for those of you that would like to try both of them, I have two decants right here for both fragrances that were discussed. Fresh Woody number one and Fresh Woody number two, their version of Blue de Chanel EDP and Dior Sauvage EDT. So all you have to do to enter, like this video, make sure you subscribe to TLTG Reviews and go ahead and comment TLTG I'm in down in the comments below. And uh, I'll leave it open for three days from the launching of this video. And then I'll announce the winner on a community post on my channel page so be on the lookout for that um, details will be there so all you have to do once again go ahead and like comment subscribe on this video comment has to be tltg i'm in and uh, i'll leave it open for three days and somebody's gonna win these two decants and i'll ship them out to you and until next time i will say if you get your hands on either of the fragrances discussed here today give them a spray now who knows you might end up thanking me later have a good one, guys, and good luck.